Welcome to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. Today is a good day. It's a beautiful winter-like day. It's cool outside, not too much rain. I just did the weather for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, today I'm doing a artichoke chicken. It's been a long time since I've done that. Uh, it's an old recipe from one of my early days as cooking. Um, and it requires a lot, a lot of spices. It's a simple dish, but a lot of flavor to it. All right, and what I'm gonna do, I got some dark meat breast here. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna saute it in the pan here and add all the ingredients as it's cooking to it. Uh, I got some uh, burgundy wine, red wine vinegar, a little bit of olive oil that's gonna be over here that we got, and we got some spices here. I do not have salt uh, because this, this, and the other things that have salt in it, okay? So all the flavor gonna be there. I have pepper, dry thyme, uh, tarragon, and uh, basil, and some fresh chopped garlic, and this is a surprise to the dish. This right here is a spicy brown mustard. And it's gonna go in the pan as well with the chicken. Now, right along with some fresh mushrooms, we're gonna cut these. Well, I'm gonna quarter these, quarter them in half, they mushrooms. The recipe calls for pickled button mushrooms. I wanna use fresh mushrooms. So the flavor of this dish can come out. And I hope all my Facebook friends that's watching me out there live, uh, watching now. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff. Uh, we're live at Vernon Woods Retirement Community here in, here in town. And let me go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get my chicken in the, in the pan. But I'm also preheat my pan first. When I put my chicken in there, I'm going to use this olive oil here because it's got some of the herbs that I just mentioned to you in it, it's already marinated in there. So that helps instead of the extra virgin olive oil, which this is extra virgin olive oil also. But I'm gonna put a little bit of that in that pan too. First things first, where are my gloves at? I don't want nobody out there looking at me on Facebook Live saying, that chef ain't got no gloves on. Well, <laughs> I got my gloves. You know, Facebook will get you in trouble sometimes. <laughs> but I hope I, I know my wife, my daughters, and a lot of other family members. They are Facebook people. They like that stuff. Me, I'm just on the opposite end. I'm doing something I don't know, you know. Uh, I hope they, enjoy, they are enjoying it. And all the peoples that go to the university, Clark Atlanta University, I want to say hey and thank you all for taking care of my child <laughs> and taking my money. <laughs> yeah. But I am right now, I am cutting up the breast, I mean the, the thigh itself, it's a dark meat. Then I'm cutting it into dices. Uh, sort of cook faster for me. All right, you don't necessarily have to do that. And what I'm also doing is, I, it is a boneless thigh. The recipe also calls for you can use bone in chicken. But I choose to do boneless because we do it live. And as you can see here, that, that's a dark meat right there. And I cut it into bite-sized chunks that there for you guys, so you can taste it. When you come to tasting, it'll be there for you. That flavor. Wish you could get an overshot for me, but I'm gonna hold up my cutting board. As you can see how I cut it right there. Now my pan will reach its maximum heat, so I'm gonna cut that guy down a little bit. Put my oil in it. And move my oil over here. And I'm gonna change my glove once I get this chicken into the pan.
Now, I'm done with these two. And this guy, I'll come back to him later. Throw another pair of gloves and we're going to do this right. Mmm, y'all smell that? Can y'all smell that? Of y'all can smell that. That olive oil with those herbs in it. Can y'all see that? And that's going to be really, really tempting. And the good part about this, you can add other vegetables to this dish. On this, as a side vegetable, you can do roasted squash or zucchini, or eggplant, um, that there. All right, you guys like the pop. Snap, cracker, and pop going on on this dish. Now, those dry herbs, like this is a uh, tarragon. I'm going to put a little bit of tarragon in this pan. So, so while it's already hot, the flavor will come out. It, uh, this is a dry tarragon instead of a fresh. Uh, reason why I'm putting it in the pan while it's hot, so all that flavor come out. Once I deglaze it with this red wine and burgundy wine, you would see. I put just a little bit of that, a little bit of thyme, dry thyme also, same procedure. You may notice I'm just putting it in one spot in the pan for the simple fact that all those herbs dry cooking together and when I stir it all of them will mix together my black pepper now. can y'all smell that now it smells wonderful doesn't it Can you see that? I hope the people out there on Facebook can see it. Because you see that oil right there? Like that. I hope you can. When I get ready to deglaze the pan, I'm going to take that same oil and it's going to have the red wine and the vinegar to it. And it's going to cook up really, really nice. Now this is a dish that you can cook ahead of time and you can let it set and bring back up the temperature. And it's best that way. I mean, you can even cook it a day ahead to be honest with you. All right, now I'm gonna go over here and cut up some mushrooms and cut this guy down some, let him slow down and cut up a few mushrooms to go into it. Because I want those mushrooms to pick up that red wine flavor. Because you know mushrooms are just like anything else. They'll absorb whatever it touches. The flavor. Whatever touches it, I should say. I like mushrooms. If I get carried away with mushrooms. You know. So if I don't. Now, there's the chicken. Mmm, that smells wonderful. I want to make sure that chicken is completely done because it's a dark meat. It's not like a white meat chicken. A white meat cooks a lot faster than a dark meat uh, at times. Now, the next thing I'm going to add to it, I'm going to deglaze it with just a little bit of this. This is a beef stock going in here with some chicken. You're probably wondering, what? Wouldn't you use a chicken stock? Well, really the beef stock is for the flavor. And once the red wine get in there and the beef stock get in there, and then you taste all that. And it helps cook that chicken a lot faster too. All right.
Now the starter show, which is artichoke hearts. I got some pickled artichoke hearts because they're already tender. If I use fresh artichoke hearts, it'll take a while. And it's really, really dense. It'll be kind of hard to chew. Uh, but I'm going to take also the juice of this, put in here too. Okay. These are artichoke hearts. Yep. And they are good on salad. Pickled onions and this and some mushrooms. That's a good salad. And it's healthy for you too. All right. Now let me go ahead and deglaze the pan with a little bit of red red wine. If I can open things these days, I'm getting weak. Can y'all smell that? Smell good, doesn't it? All I need is some rice. Oh, I got rice. All right. I wish, I wish the people's out on Facebook could see the crowd and see the calm that you guys got on your face. It's like, I can't wait to taste this, that type of look. And this is the star to show the artichoke hearts. Now, this the red wine vinegar, two dashes. Nah, that is too easy. Let me take this top off. I, I can't do it that way. That's the way of That's the way to do it. This is for a salad. But while this is doing it thing, I'm going to get over here on this side right here. I'm going to deglaze this pan with a little bit of rice, some of these herbs in it, tomato, and the onion. All right. But in the meantime, let me change gloves and let these guys hang out together and do it thing and reduce. All right. I'm going to add that mustard in at the, at the very last minute. When it reduces a little bit, that mustard gonna make something like a gravy to it. It'll be like a little sauce and you could taste it. Once you taste it, it'll be in the rice and you can taste that flavor. All right, okay, gloves. Y'all enjoying the show so far? Yeah, I, you seem so quiet, and it's like, oh my God. Yeah, I know it's Wednesday, and we normally do the shows on Thursday, and today is Thursday, and Wednesday. Today, Wednesday. This is that same oil I put in there. And you know, these have already been washed. I'm just going to use the green t tips of it. All right. And this is a different knife. Keep going. Chop it just a little bit more because I want it to be this, about the same grain as the rice. That's heating up. Slice up a little bit of tomato here. In a truck, my chef that I used to work for when I first started, he, he always told me to use everything you can when you're cooking. Uh, don't waste, because we he don't like feeding the trash can. Because the trash can don't do any work for you. You feed the people. 
So ever since then, I've been trying to use everything I can. And then, you know, uh, he also was a farmer. On a farm, a person uses everything on a farm. There's no such thing as waste. All right, now, while this guy's good and hot, I'm gonna put these in there so they can pick up that flavor. A little bit of black pepper. Try to have black pepper. And onion. Can y'all smell that? Now, I'm adding just plain white rice. This rice is pre-boiled. It's already been cooked a little bit. Uh, but I'm just adding flavor to that rice. Don't try this at home. If you're watching me on Facebook, you'll burn up your kitchen. Yeah. If you're a teenager, don't do not do that. Take your hand, hold a fryer, and stir it with a paint with this. All right, and that's all that takes, just a few minutes, because you want it to season. Now, since this has reduced a little bit, and you can see, you can see how it reduced, and it made a little stock, like that. Now adding that mustard to it will make it a little bit more gravy like that goes on that rice. And like I said, this is a spicy brown mustard. You can get spicy brown mustard anywhere in the grocery store. Um, and I'm just gonna fold it over in here. And you see how it makes that gravy? Yeah, you see that gravy? Can y'all see that out there? Can y'all see it? Can you see it back there in the back? Yeah. It look good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's those mushrooms in there that make it really look good. All right, and see, that's a simple recipe. I mean, just follow it. I mean, it's a good recipe. I'm gonna do my plate presentation on it, just a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna let each one of you guys, just people on Facebook, y'all can't taste it. You can only smell it. Oh, I forgot, you can't smell it. You can only do that. But you can look at it, you can follow step by step on the recipe. Um, just look at the video over and over and over. I encourage you to, so you can see what I've done. Uh, and it'll make a good meal. I mean, you get tired of certain dishes, your favorite. Try this. All right. And I'm just going to play with the dish just a little bit. Is it for all of us? I'm sorry? <laughs> Is it for all of us? The, well, that, that right there, it's kind of hard to split that around on everybody. You know, I just want to give it a little plate presentation. That's all. Yeah. You know, that's a nice looking little dish there with simple food. I only have mushrooms, chicken, and sauces and herbs. And then I added the rice to it to uh, make it my own. But you can do whatever you like to do to this recipe. Um, it's a fun recipe. It's a flavorful recipe if you entertain it. This is something, like I said, you can cook it ahead of time and bring it back up to temperature. You know, if you got two to three people's coming over, glass of wine, not red wine, but maybe some white wine since you're cooking with red wine, or something else, or, or another type of cocktail that if, you, if you're entertaining, that would be great. All right, what do y'all think of the show? Wonderful.
Good, good. I, I agree, I agree. Oh, I also want to holler at all the people that go to Auburn University down there. And that's one of his favorites over there, that guy over there. Uh, and his kids and stuff. In Georgia, any Georgia fans in here? Of course. Oh, yeah, got to gotta stand up for the any Alabama fans or no? No? University of North Georgia. Norfolk? North Georgia. North Georgia? University of North Georgia? Any other schools? I know you're a Georgia fan. <laughs> and I know you're a Georgia fan. Uh, anybody from Virginia? Florida? Tennessee? Tennessee? Volunteers. All right. Go Smokey, right? <laughs> okay. Well, hey, I'm done with the show. I'm through having fun. How are you people back there in the background, way back there? Uh, I'm done with the show. It's a fun show. And uh, please look us up on Facebook Live. Uh, Will LaGrange, Live It TV. It's on YouTube. And it's, I think it's still on Charter, 181 Charter. Please check me out. Check out the show. Uh, we got a whole category of shows that you can watch if you want to watch it on YouTube and Facebook Live. All right. Stay tuned to the next show. <laughs>